launch check and countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello everyone, my name is Jesse Anderson and I'm a production and engineering manager here at SpaceX and I'll be your host for SpaceX's 59th launch of 2022 and our 197th mission overall. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicles or spacecraft. Weather and range are both green for launch and we are proceeding with a T0 of 4.32 p.m. Eastern Time. If you've been following along, you know that this is our third launch in less than 34 hours following the launches of NASA's SWAT mission and the SES 03B M Power mission yesterday. Now, with liftoff just four and a half minutes Trump from now, we are standing by for transporter rector retraction. And what you'll see happening first will be the clamp arms just below the fairing begin to open up. Then once those are fully open, then the transport erector or that structure right next to the vehicle will start to retract away from the vehicle. And there you can see on your screen, those clamp arms are now opening up. And once they are fully open, the TE can begin to retract. Now those clamp arms are fully open and now you can see the ear, what you may, may hear called the strong back retract away from the vehicle. Stage one lock load complete. There we just heard a call out. Stage one lock load complete. That conclu concludes propellant loading on the first stage. Locks loading will conclude on the second stage at the T minus two minute mark. And once that does wrap up, that will be Falcon 9 fully loaded with propellant. You may see some venting of liquid oxygen. Once this comes in contact with the warm, humid, ambient air, it condenses the air around it. So that's why you see those white clouds there, almost like a cold glass of water forming condensation. We are coming up on liquid oxygen loading conclusion on the second stage. And there's that call out just to confirm that the second stage liquid oxygen loading is now complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Yes, launch closeouts. Now the booster that you see on your screen is flying for a record breaking 15th time today. It previously supported crew demo 2 and assist 2. CRS-21, Transporter 1 and 3, and nine previous Starlink missions. Reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Falcon 9, start up. 
and Falcon 9 is now in startup. The vehicle will be scheduled to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions today, and there you can see that on your screen. And we are now just waiting for the final go for, from the launch director. LED, go for launch. And there it is with all systems ready to go. Falcon 9 is ready to lift off with our Starlink payload. T minus 30 seconds. With the incredible right, views that we've been seeing, you can see that Falcon 9 has lifted off from pad 39A, carrying our Starlink payload into space. And we are throttling down the engines in preparation for Max-Q. Max-Q is the- Supersonic. Max-Q is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see on ascent. that call out that we have passed through max q now next up we do have four events happening that will be miko stage separation ses1 and then fairing deployment miko is main engine cutoff and that's where all nine of those engines that you see right now lit up on the first stage those will shut down and help slow the stage down in preparation for stage separation that will be when the first stage separates from the second stage first stage will make its way back down to Earth and land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions today. And the second stage will continue with SES-1 or second stage engine start one. And that's where we light up that MVAC engine on the second stage. And then shortly after, we will deploy the fairing halves. Falcon trajectory nominal. So far, trajectory is looking nominal and we are coming up on those few events just a few seconds. Stage separation confirmed. Back start up. Bearing separation confirmed. As you may have just seen, we had Miko stage separation, SES-1, that MVEC engine on your right-hand screen lit up, and we had fairing deployment. The fairing halves will be making their way back down to Earth, and we will be attempting to recover them with our recovery vessel, Doug, today. On your left-hand screen, you can see the first stage. You can see that the grid fins on the first stage have the grid fins on the first stage have deployed. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Both vehicles continue on nominal trajectories. And great call-outs there. Both vehicles 
are looking nominal. Again, first stage is making its way back down to Earth, while the second stage still has the Starlink payload attached to it, carrying it to its targeted drop-off orbit. Now coming up next for the first stage is the entry burn. That entry burn will be where three of nine M1D engines reignite on the vehicle. This helps slow the stage down as it re-enters into the Earth's atmosphere. After the entry burn will be a final burn that will be the landing burn on the first stage. It's just a single engine burn, the center E9 engine, that helps slow the stage down as just before it touches down for landing. Each one of our M1D engines have about 190,000 pounds of thrust at sea level, and this is just enough thrust to help slow the stage down just in time for landing. Now that entry burn that I mentioned is just under two minutes away on the first stage. But if you look at your right-hand screen, we do have some awesome views there. Incredible view with the Earth in the background and the sun in the background there. On your left-hand screen is a view of the first stage. Again, the grid fins are deployed. This helps to steer the vehicle as it makes its way back to its landing zone. There are four hypersonic grid fins just between the inner stage and the top of the first stage vehicle. Again, these help guide the vehicle to landing zone. You also may see some bursts of nitrogen gas there that helps with attitude control on the first stage. And we are just about 30 seconds away from the entry burn on the first stage. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. As you can see, the engines have reignited on the first stage. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And with that, the engine's shutting down. That concludes stage the one, entry burn. Nominal. That concludes the entry burn on the first stage. Now today's mission marks SpaceX's 197th overall stage launch. Stage two, FTS has saved. And as mentioned previously, it's the 15th flight for this first stage booster, having previously launched 14 missions and breaking a new record flight for for flight proven boosters. Now we're about 45 seconds away from the landing burn beginning on the stage first stage. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high speed stage two terminal guidance. High speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Landing burn com coming up here in just under 10 seconds. Stage one landing burn. And there you can see that engine has ignited. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on just read the instructions. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there you can see that Falcon 9 has touched down for its 15th landing for this booster. This marks our 58th landing.
this Abolition year of signal, Newfoundland. and 158th overall landing of an orbital class orbit. rocket. We also heard a call out for SECO, that is second engine cutoff one, and we heard a confirmation of good orbit. And there you can see that MVEC engine has shut Expected down. Expected loss of signal, Cape. And stage two is now carrying 54 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Thanks for joining us today. You can check social media for confirmation of payload deploy, and we'll see you again next time.